We'll go ahead and start with Jeff McDonald. Jeff. Sheldon, um, congrats again. Um, just kind of curious, you know, what's going through your mind right now? Take us through kind of the moment that you found out that you were going to be an Olympian. Um, well, I'm blessed and honored to be an Olympian first off. But um, so um, literally like this morning, I came downstairs and uh, Pop asked me, he said, uh, did your life change a little bit? I'm like, nah, like, what are you talking about? Because like, I don't have Twitter. So, like, obviously, like, somebody said something on Twitter about it. But I don't have Twitter, so I can't really, like, keep up with it. You know, I only can go by, like, what people tell me and stuff like that. So, uh, he was, like, talking to me. And then uh, Jerry Jerry came up to me, and he kind of, like, broke the news to me. And, uh, I mean, I was lost for words. I didn't really know what to say, but thank you, you know, for the opportunity and trusting me to go over there and take care of business with the other guys, you know. And, um, I mean, it's a big opportunity for me. What's what do you think the uh, you know now you're gonna go to Tokyo? There's there's restrictions. You're probably not gonna be able to to be out and about kind of like you were during the season. What's the sacrifice like for you over the next couple of weeks? And obviously it's something that a sacrifice you're willing to make. Uh, it's not really a sacrifice for me because I stay at home anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean I stay at home and play video games. So it's not really like that biggest sacrifice for me. Uh, I mean it's just staying in the room or doing what I used to do. So it's not really like a, a big sacrifice or a life changer for me. You know, you like, do you, do you like Japanese food at all? Yeah, I love it. What's your favorite? Uh, I, like, all right, so what's the classification of Japanese food? Like, I don't know. I was hoping you would tell me actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I eat anything, but I feel like uh, I had it before and, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I like it. Yeah. You know? Just and just one last one. Um, how do you think Pop has dealt with sort of the little bit of adversity this team has already faced so far with losing the exhibition games and now having to how to having to reshuffle the roster? How do you think he's he's handled it? Is it is he kind of just same old Pop? Yeah, Pop is Pop, you know. And even if he was worried, he wouldn't show us or he wouldn't show you guys. But I doubt he's worried. You know, we uh. Every day we get better and better. Uh, we come together more and more, and I think that uh, by the time we get to Tokyo, I feel like we'll be we'll be ready. And and uh, I feel like our coaches are really uh, preparing us and putting us in the right situations. All right, Keldon, I appreciate it. No problem. Congrats again. All right, you have a blessed day. Thanks, Jeff. Let's go to Jeff Garcia from News Four. Hey, Keldon, how you doing? Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm doing good. <laughs> Yeah, good, good, good. Hey, so I was able to talk to a couple of your uh, Team USA teammates, and um, a lot of them had nothing but good things to say to you, calling you a dog on that court. Um, Spolstra said that he's just surprised by your skill set. The list, I mean, the things on, on and on and on. How have you already seen any benefit to your game, to your confidence, knowing that you were part of Team Select, got the call up, and now part of the the main squad? Um, I mean, I'm definitely learning something new every day. I feel like. Uh, I'm around a lot of great players and some of the best players in the league, you know, so just just if I understand some asking questions and uh, just seeing uh, things that they do different than what I would do, you know what I'm saying, and just learning from it and put my own spin on it, you know, so I think that uh, just being around these guys and, and being able to go and compete against them in practice and then play with them in the game really is uh, teaching me a lot about basketball. Has there been one uh, vet on the squad or a player that's you know been on this squad that you've really learned a lot from already? Um, I feel like I learned a lot from all the vets. I feel like Draymond, KD, you know, uh, I feel like everybody, you know, they really teach me something. Even even the young guys, you know, Zach. Uh, I feel like everybody's just willing to help, and uh, they, you know, that they're willing to. When I mess up, you know, that it's still tough love, but at the same time, you know, it's something that I'm learning, and uh, so that I don't make the same mistake again. Thank you, Jeff. Let's go to Joe Varden from The Athletic. Hi, Kelvin. Uh, it's nice to talk to you. I'm, I'm with you guys here in Vegas, uh, so hopefully I'll be able to say hello. Um, All right. You were supposed to be on the select team, which was like a few-day commitment, and then you got promoted to fill in while the, the, the finals guys are playing. So, okay, so that's a week, and now you're going to Tokyo. So I'm curious, what did you have to cancel plans wise uh to do this <laughs> um you know i had to cancel uh i mean i didn't really have much plan uh, i was gonna attend uh, the summer league and come support our young guys in the spurs that we that we have coming up but other than that like i didn't really have any like big trips or anything like that but um 
I mean, you know, you rearrange things and, and make things work. I feel like, uh, you know, this is something that that uh, when they asked me, it was a no brainer, you know, whether it was the select team or staying longer and eventually being caught up, you know, this is, I feel like my number one priority, you know, and um, I mean, whatever else I have to move around is, I just got to make it happen, you know? And then um, the other one that I had was, you know, everybody on this call knows about uh, Coach Pop's um, team dinners and they're legendary, but your two years with him have been interrupted by the pandemic. So I don't even know how many of those you've gotten to do. And I'm wondering if you've been able to do any with Team USA and what those what it was like. Um, we haven't here yet. I feel like um, my first year, you know, before the pandemic hit, we had quite a few you know, because I would still travel on the road with, with the guys sometimes. And uh, even in the bubble, we had team dinners uh, with the food that was available, you know. So I feel like that um, we still we still uh, end up making it happen um, through uh, different 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 circumstances. But um, I mean, we haven't had one here yet, but uh, I can only imagine, you know, what that's going to Tokyo and places like that. We will uh, have team dinners. Thank you. No problem. Thanks, Joe. Let's go to Alfredo Gos Alfredo Sanchez from Telemundo. Keldon, first of all, congratulations on being called up for the Olympic, te <clears throat> Olympic team. Um, did you ever imagine, like, after you got drafted uh, by the Spurs, that, you know, within, within your first two years, you're going to be selected uh, to represent USA at the Olympics? Um, thank you, first off. Um, but... Uh, um, this is something that kind of, you know, just happened, you know, like I couldn't really like picture it like when I first got drafted, because when I first got drafted, my goal was to, you know, you know, be the best player I could be in my first year and then going to my second year, be the best player I could be in my second year. But, um, I mean, as far as like seeing forth to USA, like this is all a big surprise to me. It was, I was surprised to make it, uh, when they told me that I was going to be on the select team and, um, you know, I just took it and, and made the best of it. I learned and growed as a player, and uh, I was fortunate to to be able to stay longer uh, to final the finals. Guys are done, and then um, I mean, I guess they like what I was doing, so then they kept they kept me here for and brought me up to the Olympic team. But uh, to answer your question, like, nah, I really can like say like, oh, when I got drafted, like, oh, I'm gonna be an Olympian going into my third year. You know, like that's kind of like. That's crazy, like to think like that, you know. But um, it's here and it's true, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm blessed, man, to be in the situation I am. And my last question for you is obviously, what are you looking forward to, you know, for this uh, experience, uh, knowing that a lot of guys that have participated have come out, you know, with uh, something, uh, a new skill, better work habits. Some, what, what are you looking forward like after you know this experience is done? Just. To keep learning and keep growing as a player, I know that, um, I mean, just take something that, that uh, from somebody else or, or learn, you know, and um, I mean, that's the main thing. Of course, like, like we want to win gold and uh, that's definitely our mindset going into it. But um, I think as an individual player, I feel like just to learn, you know, and grow and uh, just take some things from, from the older players that's here. Thanks, Alfredo. Let's go to Chase Shannon from News 4. Hey, Kelton, I like the setup, man. You got your uh, phone propped up on your Nike box. Very nice. <laughs> For sure. Hey, I'm wondering, you know, as a kid growing up, just the dream of being an Olympian. I mean, how much did you think about this growing up? And then for the moment to come this early in your career, where do you think this is going to rank when it's all said and done on accomplishments, which you've already accomplished so much in your young uh -huh. career? This definitely is is one of the top accomplishments, you know, being an Olympian going into my third year, this is like crazy, you know, but um, man, just still just take it one day at a time, you know, and just enjoy, enjoy the process, enjoy the experience and, and get some wins, you know. Maybe what is your best Olympic memory of a USA men's national team? Do you have any that stick out in the front of your mind? Uh, which team, it was, it was Kobe, Chris Paul. Darren Williams, uh, LeBron, D Wade, when they just uh, they they uh, destroyed the whole like the whole Olympic scene, like they just tore it up, you know. And I remember watching that as a kid. And now you're a part of that. 
Uh, yeah. I also want to know, you know, it, you know what Coach Pop thinks about you. You know, you hear it, you see it, you, you play for him. Um, but for them to make this decision to, to call you up, what do you think that that says about you as a player? And what do you think that you proved um, in this week plus down there to, to make them elevate you? Um, I mean, it says a lot because, you know, uh, Pop's not the only coach here, you know, and there's a lot of a lot of people that have input on the decision to, you know, keep keep me here for the Olympic team. So I, that's definitely big, you know, that other people see it, you know, and, and it's not just Coach Pop or or the Spurs organization, you know, other people see that, you know, I'm a, I'm a really good player, you know, and um, I mean, that's just the main thing that like, you know, like it's not just like other people see it that, that watch me play, you know, and uh, just gotta yeah, keep being me, you know. Thank you, Chase. Let's go to RJ Marquez from KSAT. Hey, KJ, congratulations again, like everyone else is saying. Um, I just want to get your thoughts on just being the third spur ever to play on the U.S. Olympic team and the other two being, of course, Timmy and, uh, and David Robinson. So have you been able to sort of think about that and what kind of just sort of comes to your mind when, when you sort of put that in perspective? Um, you know, it's definitely an honor, you know, to, to, be in, to be even in the same sentence as, as Tim Duncan and David Robinson, you know, and uh, – of course, they they've been they go down in the in the in the books as, as some of the greats, you know. So um, I think I think it's I mean I sit down and think about it, but honestly, you know, it's just like uh, take this opportunity and you know and and learn from it and, and keep growing, you know. Don't don't be uh, complacent and and satisfied with with just this, you know, and uh, just going out there and keep striving to be better and and reach for for higher goals. And uh, just kind of jumping off of uh, one of Chase's questions, um, not only did the coaching staff obviously want to promote you or add you to the team, but it seemed like you impressed the other guys on the squad and they were comfortable uh, adding you to the team as well. So what does that mean to you to have the players also uh, want to want to take you with them to Tokyo? It's big because, uh, I mean, those are the guys I'm going to go on the court with and go to war with and, you know, go and compete in the Olympics. So it's good that uh, not only that the coaches want me there, but the players do as well. You know, that's, that's big. And it's a, I mean, it's a testament to the hard work that I put in, you know, and for them to see it and, you know, for them to be like, yeah, we, we cool with this. And, you know, we, we enjoy them here. It's, it's big for me, you know? Thanks KJ. No problem. Thanks RJ. We'll wrap it up with Lauren Chan from spurs.com. Hey, Kelton. Um, what was that moment like getting to tell your family you're an Olympian? Um, <laughs> my mom cried. Uh, my dad, my dad was choking up a little bit. You know, everybody was pretty much like, you know, like, because, you know, we, we pray for moments like this, you know, and uh, I mean, to see it come true and be able to deliver the news to them was, you know, big. You know, I, I was kind of like, dang, like my, my parents were, like they, it was hard to explain. It was a special moment, you know. Yeah, you know, you've talked before about having military family, and and what what does it mean to be able to play with with USA on your jersey? Uh, it's definitely big. You know, I have a lot of family and a lot of close friends, especially ones in my life that uh you know serve our country. You know, so um being able to go over there and participate in the Olympics for the United States is it's definitely huge for me. You know. Thanks, Gilden. No problem. Keldon, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Once again, congratulations, and we look forward to, to watching you represent USA. Thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all have a blessed night. All right.